and welcome or welcome back to my channel Lunatia Books. My name is Ellen and today it's a new year and it's time to look back at 2021. First, I want to wish you a very happy new year. Before I start looking back at some reading stats for the year that just ended, I want to ask you kindly to support me by subscribing to my channel, liking the video and leave a comment down below. Twenty twenty one was a pretty good reading year for me. I didn't read as many books as in 2020 when I read 148 books, but it was still very good. In the past I have normally read around 50 to 65 books every year. In 2021 I read 87 books, which was by far more than my goal of 50 and I'm very happy with that. Other goals I had in 2021 was to read at least five non-fiction books, where I hope to read three on writing. I wanted to read at least 15 young adult books, where at least five of them should be by Norwegian authors. I planned on reading at least 20 books in Norwegian and three poetry books. If I look at my Goodreads stats, it also tells me that the longest book I read in 2021 was 617 pages and the shortest book was only 25 pages. The average book length in 2021 was 268 pages. The most popular book I read in 2021 was Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen which was not a big surprise. It's a classic and a book I have read several times. In other words, a reread. The least popular book was Kat Altivert i Norge, a biography by Espen Serbi. I was actually surprised this book had only been shelved five times. It's an important read and I recommend it if you can read Norwegian. In 2021, I also read eight non-fiction books, where only one was in writing. I read 34 young adult books, 13 of them by Norwegian authors. I read a total of 29 books in Norwegian and four poetry books. I also read 34 LGBTQ plus books, 20 books written by BIPOC authors and six graphic novels. In other words, I managed to reach all my goals but one. I didn't manage to read three books on writing. Looking back, I'm very pleased with 2021 as a reading year. If you are interested in looking at my goals for 2022, I have a video where I talk about that. You can find the link in the description box. And that was my 2021 summary. I have nothing more to say about 2021. It was not a good year in general, but reading wise, it was top notch. And that's all I want to say. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.